Hello, it's me. Again, Laura. Hey, folks. Hello, it's me again. Hi there, I'm Jesse, and welcome, welcome to Switzerland. Today, we're going to tell you what you have to keep in mind when you come to Switzerland. Insider tips. Four languages are spoken in Switzerland. Italian, French, Swiss German and Romance. But English is widely spoken as well. Fun fact, the majority of Swiss people think that people from Bern have the prettiest dialect. Jesse, please. With a few Swiss German words, natives will love you. A beer, please. A Stange, bitte. In French. Une bière, s'il vous plaît. Where's the party? Wo hat es fest? Italian. Dove la festa? You have beautiful eyes. Oh, merci. Also wirklich. Ähm, du hast mega schöne Augen. Romance. Keine Ahnung, ich bin Berner, kein Bündner. And most important, greeting. A big issue in Switzerland. Buongiorno. Grüß dich miteinander. Bonjour. You greet when you enter a shop and say goodbye when leaving. Ciao. Au revoir. Even when hiking, strangers will greet each other. Hey, grüß dich auch. Guten Tag. Guten Reis. Danke. Another big issue when toasting, wait until everyone is present. Wait. Don't drink before. Look your toasting partner into the eye when clinking glasses and say Prost for cheers. The lack of eye contact is said to bring bad luck. Next topic. When is the best time to visit Switzerland? The good thing? There is no monsoon season, but there's some rain in every season. We have four seasons. That's a great thing. High season in summer is in July and August, when cyclists and hikers hit high altitude trails and people go swimming in the rivers. In ski resorts, Christmas, New Year is the peak season. Also, February is the high season. Shoulder season is from April to June. Spring is idyllic with flowers and warm temperatures and local produce. Autumn in September is perfect for hiking and for cleaning streets. Most mountain resorts go to snooze mode in their low season between October and early December. Next topic, safety. Checked. Switzerland is a very safe country for travelers. Because it's so safe, locals leave their doors open in the countryside. But if you need help, call 118 for fire, fire! or 117 for the police. A more interesting topic than safety in Switzerland is money. Money, money, money must be funny in a rich man's world. Money plays a big role in Switzerland. Most things are very expensive, but if you do it cleverly, Switzerland is affordable. Eating out in Switzerland becomes a lot cheaper with special lunch deals or traveling off-season. People pay with Swiss francs, not with euros or dollars. Always keep change in your pocket. But it's widely accepted to pay with mobile or card. There are ATMs everywhere. So how much exactly is a day in Switzerland gonna cost me? Well, it depends on what you want. But you will always get top-notch quality. Anyway, I'm Laura. And I'm Jesse. Hope to see you next time. In the next episode, we'll have a focus on our awesome Swiss cities.